Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I have big plans today. That's Hans over there, and that's Mike over there. Where are you, Mike? Over there. Um, we got up early, jumped in the truck. We're going to go and do a big walk up a tributary, kind of get a bit remote because it's been rainy, but things were dropping. We think it was going to be good, but it kept raining. So we ended up walking this morning for like... I don't know, a good hour, hour and a half, probably, all up. We got far enough up the river, we wanted to fish, and we could see it was rising, getting dirty. So we changed the plan, we went and had a look at another place, and that was doing much the same and then we bailed on that and kind of as we were leaving things were getting a bit high a bit spicy and uh, you know the forge we went through that were dry on the way in were kind of like a foot or two underwater so we made the right decision and we got out of there and then we've been basically running around just looking for something to fish so on the way out of there to find somewhere else which eventually was this place we stopped off a couple of places and i just threw the streamer around because it was pretty good conditions i thought for that You'll like this, Hans. Dustin tied it. It's a game changer. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's amazing in the water. <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs> How good is that? That's probably a good flash too. It's a good flash and it feels heavy. That's a big tail. Big tail, big thick rest day. Not one of two. Yeah, I've got a bit of a wrap, haven't I? That's why I can't turn them. What's the biggest fish you caught? It's okay. Gotta try and get him up in the water if I can. Where are you, Hansy? Yeah, nice one, bro. Nice one. Easy, easy seven. Easy seven. It's just so much. Sleep, hey. well done, well <laughs> yes as you can see that was well worth doing that was a beautiful fish in fact that was my fish of the trip and a sick sick way to catch it yeah just love that style of fishing so you know when things are tough it pays to do stuff different every now and then and just try stuff out you know what i mean it's like 1.30, the boys have just set up and we're going to fish we found a section of river that is kind of fishable the stuff over here look this stuff over here behind mike in front of mike whatever so we're going to get on, jump in here and we're going to fish up through here see if we can find a couple of fish and we'll see what happens see what the afternoon brings all right let's go Uh, I was just talking to Han and Mike went on ahead. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably, should probably film him. 
and then I carried on talking uh, because I'm a bad cameraman. Uh, uh, and Mike's hooked up, which is sweet. Oh yeah, good fish. Shit, yeah. That's solid. Good job! Wow! <laughs> nice job! <laughs> Dude, there's a tank! Dude, that's a beautiful fish! That's like a six pound fish! What a fish! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what a start! What was that like your third cast in there, Mike? Yeah. Just working each one out, and there was one that got furthest out, just into that. Yeah. It's a beautiful bit of water, the fish, because it's okay. just perfect. And that's a mega fish for this river. Well, for any river, that's a mega fish. Didn't yeah. think we were going to get another one of that caliber. No. Yeah, that's um, that's super cool. Yeah. Um, Hans is retying because I had a cast of his rod <laughs> and <laughs> broke it off on the first. Thing. Can someone say sabotage? <laughs> so, so Hans is retying because of me. But yeah, that was a nice uh, little intermission there. Let's get Hans in one. Good job, man. It's another hookup I didn't film. <laughs> Pretty. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Yo, okay, so I've got the Helios 3 6 weight F. I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel on there. I've got the, you know what's on there. It's the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a 6 weight. Then loop to loop to that, I've got a 7 foot floating poly leader from Orvis down to a tippet ring. And then I've got about 6 feet of 3X down to about four feet of 4x then on a whack a couple of flies off of there a small indicator and then join the boys and he just lost uh did he lose a fish i just knocked a small fish off of hans's mine trying to net it got a size 10 101 something small off of that a size 16 pheasant tail or something then i put a small indicator on if you want to know how i do my uh, nymph rigs from scratch like in more detail i'll link that up at top here to go check it out I'll finish this off and now uh, we'll get on the river. There we go. Right okay, up. we've got a fish eating off the top. Hans is going for it. Here we go. It's going to happen. It's a good cast. I can see his fly from here. Dude, that was super cool. Just a little dry fly on the edge, just ah, perfect. Really cool to watch. 
and uh, that was a good fish to Chris and Hans' new rod. Well done, buddy. Uh, the boys are just dropped back, crossing over, and we're going to go up that other side. I'm just going to carry on up this side because I'm lazy more than anything. Um, and then we'll see if we can find a couple more. But either way, everyone's on the board for the day, and no one got skunked. So, pretty sweet, Pete. All right, I'm gonna fish up behind Hansy again, just because I've got the heavier stuff on. He's gonna go through this piece of water first with the lighter gear, and then I'll just uh, try and bang a few through with the heavier gear and just get down a little bit more, see if I can pick up something behind him. Yo, it's all gone a bit quiet. Kind of started off with a hiss and a roar when we got here for those couple of fish and one rising and all that kind of good stuff. And then it's just kind of gone dead. Or we just haven't seen anything else, caught anything else. Uh, so yeah, we're just kind of working. We're spread up. We're working all different parts of the river, different edges quite braided through here so there's lots of water to explore so rather than stick together we've all just split up and just kind of moving around and fishing and trying to find fish between us no one's no one's found the thing yet this is a nice piece of water up here but um yeah it's not windy it's not rainy it's quite warm actually pretty good conditions for hatch but uh haven't really seen much going on the odd thing coming off no fish up and eating them not really other than that one of hands anyway it's all good it's all good we'll keep looking good to be hanging out with the boys again shame i'm at the end of my trip but i'll be back your expectations when things are less than favorable. Uh, we left this morning, hopes were high, we were going to do some sight fishing, get into a remote stream, uh, you know, hopefully find some big fish we could, we could um, fish to, and then it became pretty apparent pretty quickly that wasn't going to happen, and as the day has gone on, it's just become harder and harder to find fish. So then you just kind of have to drop your expectations from like what you thought they were going to be when the day started and you know then as things become kind of difficult and more difficult um, you kind of manage your expectations accordingly so on a day like today if you can find one fish it's a win that's a mega day on a very tough day where things just aren't really working in your favor so you know it's just good stuff to bear in mind
you back. <sighs> so, it looks like that is the last day of the South Island Diaries. The rivers kept coming up as the day went on. Um, yeah, it was a good decision not to carry on with our plan A and our plan B. Just because if we had gone into either one of those two rivers, um, they kept rising. We looked on the flow charts on our way back and they were just going through the roof. So if we'd been in those rivers whilst that was happening this afternoon, we would have been in trouble. So it was a good choice to pull the pin um, and go to plan B, go to plan C. So, you know, it's always good to have backup plans, you know. So it was tough, tough day, but very cool. That fish I got in the stream this morning as we were going out of that first river, um, that was easily my fish of the trip and probably actually potentially my fish of the season. So super happy. And to get it on a streamer was just super cool. As you guys know, if you follow these videos, I've become a little bit obsessed with streamer fishing. So that really was a cool fish to finish on. And then, yeah, Mike got that really good fish um and that third river we went to and then hans picked up a really cool fish on a dry fly and then everyone got a fish we all had a good time and that's what it's all about you know so really stoked to got one more day in we were planning to fish tomorrow but the way the rivers have gone everything is kind of blown out now and it ain't gonna happen so that was the last day that was the last one of this south island diaries and to be fair, this was the toughest South Island diaries I've done yet. Between, you know, bad weather, high river levels, not many fish out, other anglers. And then when we did find fish, they were just super spooky and tough to catch, but still a cool time. And you get that on the big job sometimes. It can't be epic all the time. Sometimes you've got to dig your heels in and just grind a few fish out. So that's what I did. But I had a great time doing it. Great to see everybody catch up with some people, do some fishing. Now it's time to go back to the North Island, do a little bit of guiding, um, sort a few things out. And then I actually have, before the end of June, quite a few things that hopefully I can get done. I have one or two very cool trips planned that I want to do. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, cheers everybody. I just realized I drank that incredibly slowly. But cheers. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the South Island Diaries. I already am planning the next one. It won't be too long before I'm back down here. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have yourselves a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>